Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Design CD Skylines. My name is Jake Doster and we're back at Sea the Valley where we're taking a look at the underneath part of our freeway interchange. And uh, yeah, this looks a little bit odd with this uh, floating pillars here. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, but um, we're, we're, we're gonna fix this eventually. Just uh, wanted to let the simulation run a little bit for the traffic to pretty much find their path. And it seems like uh, we already have some trucks uh, pretty much going into the industrial area direction, which is always nice. Let me exit uh, the cinematic mode. And actually, let's start by fixing these uh, orientation arrows that we had in the previous episode uh, left undone. So we're gonna go this way. Let's turn this arrows. There we go. All right, so that's looking good. Oh, I did not want to do that. Is that is it possible to not have? Oh, actually, there we go. That's what I wanted. All right, so we have one-way roads all the way across. Am I getting this right? Fantastic. Okay, so what what next uh, next thing to do would be to connect this way and this way towards that area of the city so that after that we could potentially see a lot more use on our freeway interchange. So I want to pause the game real quick just because I don't want to spend resources on the simulation like I said before and uh, let's see you'll have to forgive me if I miss something up on this one because it's already 2 30 a.m on a Wednesday night actually Thursday night technically and uh, yeah I can't I just I can't sleep so I figured hey why don't we record some some city skylines I was gonna say some city that's how sleepy I am uh, a city skylines video that's 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 gonna be fun uh, so yeah here I am let's uh, let's get the uh, on ramp here we might have to go up one level my only concern is that I'll get some crazy some crazy uh, suspension bridge is the word I was looking for. Let's go up uh, by 21 meters. I think that's our height. Yeah, there we go. So we're just going to go over here and we, we're going to need to go up, unfortunately. Which, I don't know, it could be okay, I'm guessing. I wish that we could have... Oh man, it would be so nice if we just didn't have... Unless we clear the pillars and just have it f be floating. Clown <laughs> ground clearance here is uh, not the best. Um, I gotta admit, but uh, can we fit a row in between? I feel like I need to go up one level here, unfortunately, and have this one come in between. So let's let's see how that looks like. Maybe maybe we can squeeze something in. So maybe go about twelve meters. Twelve meters should be okay for for what we're trying to do here. Let's get rid of this curves. So eventually, we need to get rid of them anyways. Uh, simply because we'd have any pillars there. So if we're going to do this in levels, we definitely need to mine that. So in terms of ground clearance, um, yeah, or height clearance, I guess, that seems uh, quite adequate, if I do say so myself. So what I want to do now is potentially get this parallel road Somewhere around here, so like that, and have a nice curve connecting these two pieces, like so. So we have some smooth curves like that. We don't have, we don't want tight curves because those, uh, well, those will mess up uh, everything, pretty much. And when I say everything, I mean they're 
when you speed on a freeway, you want like smooth curves. Otherwise, uh, your car's just gonna fly away, and we definitely don't want uh, that from we want to avoid that from happening. So I'm guessing we're gonna go to 27 meters, which seems like a reasonable height, and we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. Actually, we're gonna do it on this side first because. Can we get a nice... Okay. I guess I'll trust you with that. Oh, this seems doable, actually. This is the tricky part right here. How do we... This is this multi-level freeway. It's already looking quite epic, uh, if you ask me. But uh, let's see, how the hell do we connect this now? Because it's not like we just do this. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it is just like that. Oh my god, that looks fantastic. Are you kidding me? That is gorgeous. Okay. Uh this is this is getting uh this is getting pretty exciting. So wait, can we just simply do this? Uh this one right here might be a little bit more tricky. But we'll figure something out. We will definitely figure something out. Let's maybe try this way. Oh, because this one is not 27 meters. So maybe we need to start going up somewhere here. Just to be able to curve. So we might not be able to have it perfectly perfectly align against uh, this curve. Maybe if we try harder. Just uh, go on like that a little bit. It's just a matter of aligning the pillars, to be honest. Oh, we got it there for a second. All right. So it is definitely doable. Let's see if we can get it to match this thing better. Uh, maybe like that. Let's see, I'm not a huge fan of how it ended up being. Oh, actually, that looks fantastic. All right, I'm totally keeping that. And look at the, the inner part of this. Hang on, I need to go into um, free per, uh, first person camera. Look at this multi-level structure. This is gorgeous. This is so nice. Okay, this is totally, I'm totally keeping this. Okay, so what I want to do now is basically go up one level back to 21 which is our standard level might be a bit too high for for the city but I don't know kind of works for now so now I might have to create smaller segments here like so and just uh, Connected like uh, with a curve like that. How does this look? It looks. Uh, I thought this curve was gonna be a little bit bumpy, but it actually looks quite nice. And uh, this whole part looks uh, pretty amazing too. So, you know what? Let's uh, fix the. Well, first of all, we need to get the. What you may call it the. Uh -huh, the on ramp here. So. So I'm guessing right about there should be okay. Can we get it? That's a bit too close. Hmm. <laughs> I might have uh, done it one tile over. I could have uh, optimized the space a little bit better, but 
I guess that's not 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 a big deal. Because right now is really yeah. Hmm, I might have to. Go, oh man, I can't really do this. Uh, move this lane closer to this one because yeah, this pillar is not gonna allow that to to happen. Uh, not all is lost though. Uh, I guess we just do it like this. Actually, that looks fantastic. I'm keeping that. Okay, so let's let's actually fix the row uh, the arrows. So like that. So that one's fixed. This one is going out of the city. And uh, this one is also going that way. And I think that's it. Oh wait, we're missing uh, a little segment here. This part actually might be able to be improved a tiny bit. Like that. So now that curve actually looks way nicer. And look at this. This looks absolutely radical. Uh, let's see if we can have a nicer, more gentle slope. And the same over here. This is a bit too sharp. So you're coming through here. And this is a nice, smooth curve. There we go. And then it goes back again, up again, and then down. All right, let's uh, speed up the simulation. Full width, full width, uh, full speed, not full width, and uh, see what's happening. So we have some abandonment uh, issues here and some lack of power, not enough electricity. Uh, you know what? I think it's time to actually bring the power from the main city. So we're gonna plow this underground boxes real quick. Like so. Just uh, for now, because definitely this uh, wind turbines are not really working. Might as well get rid of them. All right, so now our city is properly connected to the power grid. So hopefully no more abandoned uh, buildings. And look at that, we have traffic flowing through our freeway. Isn't that exciting? That's pretty exciting. Uh, this part right here could be improved, I think. The Let's see. I don't think I wanted to do that, though. Yeah, that's that's much better. It's a much gentle, gentler s slope. Is that even a word? Uh, that's pretty nice. All right, so. I think we can get rid of this road now. It's, uh, it's an old road. I don't think we need it. We could uh, potentially continue this diagonal. To be honest, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure what we should be working on next. So I'm trying to. Uh, I have some time to think about things. <laughs> uh, right, so. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, we have a, a bit of a more urban area going. Now, what do we do with the middle of the freeways? Do we want to do something right now? I think I'm going to leave them as it is, just for the time being. This is so cool. Love how the traffic sort of splits here high capacity interchange. Uh, what I want to do is maybe start laying down some of the uh, railroad tracks. By the way, off camera I fixed this. I don't know if I mentioned this in the previous episode, but I but I made this curve uh, come a little bit uh, more gentle and basically add a straight line into our rail yard that is uh, not complete yet, like I keep saying. So we're going to continue the train tracks going all the way to here. Uh, we're gonna have a, a, a crossing there at, at a level. So we're gonna go up here just uh, a little bit. 
I'm not a huge fan of this, like, you know, starts going up and then it goes flat and then it goes up again. So I'm, I'm going to try to avoid having that. I want smooth slopes that don't have any interruptions, if that makes any sense. God damn it. Not, not that. You see, that is what I want. Right about there. This is pretty steep, though. I think, yeah. So we might uh, we might need to have that slope as it is. Actually, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create this at a at level, and then I'm gonna make it go up here. Let's see. Let's go across this avenue. If I can, there we go. As the clearance here, it doesn't seem to be very tall, so we might have to go uh, one meter up, which is not a big deal. Let's come to here. This might be a bit too high. Yeah, this is definitely too high, so 12 meters is the sweet spot, at least for this, this section. I don't know. We'll see later. So 12 meters. I feel like that is what I used to have before. No, this is perfect. I mean, there's a light kind of in between, but trucks absolutely clear this, no problem. So we're sticking with that. And I really wish that I could get, uh, hang on, let's see, can I, if I do this. I guess we'll just uh, have the... Let's see if we can... Uh... I really want to avoid this uh, terrain adjustment. Let's try it one more time. So I'll just I'll just do that. There we go. So no terrain differences, gentle slope. And so what do we do with this uh, train track? I think one of the things that I want to do is maybe bring it here, in between this uh, freeway, or almost kind of following this avenue. So we're gonna have one branch going this way. And then we're gonna have a curve and go this way. So let's let's do that real quick. First of all, let's let's lay down some guides because uh, those uh, are gonna come in handy pretty much like that. And we're gonna grab the rail. So what I want is kind of try to squeeze it in through this. Uh, we definitely want to be elevated here, so let's go elevate it. 12 meters, I think is what we we're working on. Basically, I, I want to avoid every single... Since this is definitely going to be a lot more urban, I want to I avoid having railroad crossings as much as I can if at all possible. Try to get it the nicest curve. There we go. All right, that's pretty gentle. How are we looking here? Purdue clearance. Uh, some of these uh, lampposts are kind of, you know, get sort of in, in into the bridge, but I'm okay with those. It just, I, I, I will only fix them once they are like crossing over, like coming, you know, from from the bottom. That, that you can see the top of them. So, so far so good. Let's see how we're looking here. I'm afraid that this might not be tall enough and I'm me in the freeway. Ooh, almost there. I mean, should we keep this? I guess the cables, I, I almost think that the cables are like, the use the overpass, uh, I'm sorry, the um, freeway 
as a... Uh... You know what? I'm going to keep that. I think I like that. Yeah, I'm keeping that. Cool. Uh, the What I was saying is that the freeway uh, and the cables going through them, it's almost like the freeway is holding the cables instead of the uh, metal towers here. So that's kind of cool. So let's, uh, let's get some... Uh interchange action happening here what is the easiest way of doing this you want to keep this as dead end dead end uh Dead end tracks. See if we can get it over here. That actually comes in handy. And uh, we're, we're gonna get rid of this extra segment in a second. I just wanna lay this down. Where's, is there a pillar here that's, oh, the power station thingy is in the middle. So I guess that's okay. So we can clear that and just have it come all the way up to there. So this is sort of the end of our rail yard. But uh, oh, what I was going to do is something else. I keep getting sidetracked and distracted all the freaking time. Uh, but let's just uh, do this. Uh, might not be able to uh, get that going there. Okay, so we're going to need to eyeball this, unfortunately, even though I'm not a huge fan of doing that. Can I pull this off somehow? It will be so epic if I could have this uh, type of, um, you know, connection. But no, this connection not allowed. Maybe what should I do first is actually get the station, whatever it is that we're going to end up plopping here in place. And then we can use that as a, as a guide for the rest of our infrastructure, rail infrastructure. So uh, we haven't used this uh, yet. So let's actually put this to use and it only has one track. So that actually works to our advantage. So I want to clear out all of this. Pause the game. We don't need to keep running the game for this. Uh, we even have room for an extra dead end track over there. So that's actually pretty fantastic. If I do say so myself. Uh, we're going to go with the cement one. And we're going to bring it down to zero why do you snap to the wrong thing? Just want to plop it there. Really? Why do you not want to snap to what I'm telling you to snap? Well, I guess it won't let me do that. So there's, uh, there isn't that much room here to play with, unfortunately. But at least we have this. Man, no, I mean, this has to be possible. Uh, let's just get rid of this real quick. Just to see if we can fit the, the track. Because I'm pretty sure we can. There we go. And it keeps just snapping to the weirdest places. You know what? I'm I'm keeping that. So road. Road. There we go. And what we're gonna do next is actually go overlap. Get some cement. And hopefully we can get Nice. There we go. There's quite a bit of cement here. That's pretty good. Just want to cover it all. 
with some end pass. That's pretty nice. That one as well. Uh, now this uh, this segment is not really connected to anything, unfortunately. Maybe what we should do is get a quick overpass over here. It really doesn't like it. It really, really forces itself against being anywhere near that road. But I guess I, I guess that's it. Okay, so 12 meters. Let's see. That's kind of what I wanted. So when I say eyeball it, we're going to need to absolutely eyeball it. Something like this that goes right about there. Maybe on the other side it's better. Oh, this is definitely, we need to go closer. Just a tiny bit, a few units. I'm not a huge fan of having super tight uh, curves for rail because trains actually need a lot of uh, room to turn around, so this looks okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm keeping that. All right, so now I need to connect it to this branch. Hopefully we can have something nice and tidy like we have on the other side. Uh, by the way, we also need to connect this uh, properly. Not a huge fan of how that connected, so let's try that again. What happens if I do that? Oh, this is a <laughs> this is a street. This is not the right tool, and I'm also still using overlap, so maybe maybe try collide. Because that will potentially help. There we go. Alright, so that's a smooth connection. And uh, it's definitely looking all, everything is looking very industrial, which is something that I absolutely adore. Let's, uh, let's get this overpass uh, fixed real quick. And we're going to overlap this one because I'm afraid that the pillars were going to be, are going to be right in the middle of the thing, uh, floating. Players on this side. I wonder if I can just go like this. It seems a bit too steep. I mean, the trains. Yeah, no, I think we can go one level down for sure. For sure. We can definitely go one level down. So let's go. 12 meters. I don't want I don't want the pillars to be right up against that. I can do that. Actually, right from here and on, I can just go straight down. Maybe not. So yeah, clearance wise, trains can definitely go under there as well as trucks and cars. And it, it doesn't look that steep. Looks okay, actually. So I'm definitely uh, keeping that. Just this this segment is a little bit more, uh, sh has a sharper angle of attacks, but uh, but it, it works. I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep that. Let's, uh, let's get some of these uh, cement streets going through here, just to add a bit more texture to this uh, area. Sometimes it just snaps to like weird spaces, so you kind of have to play around with it. There we go. And uh, yeah, I keep saying that I need to connect this, so I might as well do it now. And uh, I guess we're gonna eyeball this. So maybe we can have something like that. Does 
this look okay? I think it looks okay. I think this line needs to sort of follow this uh, this path a little bit nicer. So let's try to reconnect the two together somewhere else. So I guess what I need here is something like that. Wow, it really wants to snap to the weirdest places. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be crazy. Actually, this could very very well connect to this other part of the rail yard. I'm totally not opposed to that. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's just continue this uh, this straight. Let's not overlap anymore because it's important, I think, to not go crazy on those things. Uh, hang on. We need to go up to there and then go 12 there. And uh, let's clear this. Go across the avenue like so. Uh, let's do this right, actually, because otherwise it's not working. Try to get the pillars to to meet, and then this is going to be one sharp curve. But hopefully we can get it connected right. I think that looks pretty good. I kind of wish that this was maybe connected to that, but uh, I think I think I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I feel like I've been rumbling for quite some time, like I usually do. There's a ton of uh, decoration that needs to happen, and I think I'm gonna tackle that in the next episode because uh, we've been working pretty much on. Let me let me go full speed here, see what happens. If you get some train action, even. Uh, I don't think that will be the case just yet, but uh, maybe. I don't know, who knows? Uh, like I was saying, yeah, maybe uh, since this episode it was mostly uh, layout stuff and uh, finishing the freeways and all that. Let's see how pretty they look. Dude, this is so crazy. Um, maybe in the next one we can do a little bit of more uh, design-oriented, uh, you know, episode where we can go back to plopping this uh, gorgeous uh, drink cars all over the place and uh, you know start shaping up this uh, industrial area a little bit nicer this people are definitely using this so that's uh, that's actually pretty encouraging so uh, yeah I think uh, I think that's it for now so if you enjoy this episode please do give it a rating that's very much appreciated and also if you haven't already please do subscribe to be alerted as soon oh we had a train oh we need to, we need to just that was pretty fast. I think uh, is the speed at full speed. Not sure. Um, yeah, if you if you want to be notified every time uh, I upload a video, you should definitely subscribe. And uh, of course, you can also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com/tricktoaster. That's where I usually uh, announce updates on the channel and changes in schedule and even cool little screenshots every once in a while. So. Uh, Make sure to check that out. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching and hope to see you in the next one.